Good morning, Grace Chapel. Boker Tov. <laughs> Kehilat HaChesed in Hebrew. You are Kehilat HaChesed, community of grace. Amen. And in Hebrew, grace has three dimensions. Donating money, helping the others in physical needs, and the spiritual dimension. What are you doing now? in this church. And you should know, I don't know many, how many of you know that the word grace, chesed, is also related to the Hebrew word chasidut, chasidim. Mm. Those black, hat, long coat, European Jews, but it's not related to the hat and the coat, but it, it means they are disciples. Mm. These people are disciples of God. So Grace Chapel, you are disciples of God, and I've seen it in my own eyes today. Very inspiring, very strong believers. And it's the first time in, I'm in a church in prayer. Well, it was the first time I had Rosh Hashanah was with you, so it's an even trade then. Yeah, we're now <laughs> even. I wanted, I came from Jerusalem, as you know. And uh, Jerusalem is going through troubled times these days. Not only Jerusalem, but the Jewish and the Christians in Israel and in the Middle East are undergoing troubles time. The, the enemies of the Judeo-Christian tradition are causing troubles inside and outside. And I guess it has something to do with the lack of leadership in the world. So, uh, as I told, Pastor Steve, just... Is this the mumbling section over here? <laughs> Proceed. <laughs> For instance, uh, 15 years ago, the number of Christians in Iraq were about 1.5 million people. And this is uh, today, about half a million Christians have left, uh, have been living in, in, in Iraq. So just to give you an example of what kind of hardship the Christians uh, suffer and in the Middle East. Uh, apparently, the only country where Christians are safe and welcome is Israel. And mm -hmm. we wish uh, to continue this kind of ongoing relations between the Christians all over the world. Now, you know, do you love Jerusalem? Amen. I, I didn't hear. <laughs> do you love the Holy Land? Amen. Good. Do you love the Holy Bible? Yes. So if you love Jerusalem, and if you love the people of Israel, you know that there are two, there are several command, commanded, commandments, commanded mm -hmm. in, the, in the Bible that if you love Jerusalem, if you respect Jerusalem, if you pray for the, the safety of Jerusalem and was for the safety of the Jewish people, you will be rewarded. It says in uh, Genesis 12, 33, and uh, Psalms 132, and uh, Psalms 122, and so on. So. Uh, Jerusalem, you know, it's so important in our tradition that in the wedding day, in one of the culmination of the wedding, the, the bride, the bridegroom, is uh, proclaiming the following vow, just before he's getting married to his newly uh, new wife. He said, if I will forget you, Jerusalem, my arm, my right arm will be forgotten, or we will forget to play the harp, or will be cunning. Something like this, a different translation. But the true translation of the word, that if I will forget the Jerusalem, I will forget my right. It doesn't mean my right hand. And right, it means my truth, my correct, my right. So, therefore, at the most important moment of the uh, newlywed couple, 
the, the future husband is vowing uh, this kind of, uh, of, of uh, vow so to show you how important it is in Jerusalem. So I would like to say with you all together in Hebrew, Im eshkachech Yerushalayim, if I will forget the Jerusalem, tishkach yemini, my right will be forgotten. And I would like just to end it up because I don't want to any competition here with the... <laughs> As Pastor Steve said, I came to this community and I met wonderful people, incredible people. And I thank each and every one of them personally, but I would like to thank, uh, I can't thank everybody, but I will, would like to thank Pastor Steve Steve for making it all possible, his wife, wonderful wife, Sarah, Mark, and most importantly, my host, incredible people, uh, Melissa and uh, Scott Farrar. Uh, I met really wonderful people in this community. It really touched my heart very much. I, uh, I would like to just uh, say a word of greeting. I would like to wish you all that may peace be upon you, may peace and tranquility to your family in your land, and may peace and health and cure and a, a peaceful mind for those of you who need it. I'm really honored that uh, you gave me this opportunity to speak to such a wonderful audience. I really appreciate being here, and may God be with you. Thank you so much. Amen. Thank you.